Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of the behaviors feature in Scrutina for Jira Cloud. Particularly, we're going to be showing you how you can auto assign tickets based upon the selected priority in that ticket. So you can see here we have a behavior with a name describing what it's going to do. It's currently enabled and it is mapped to project webinar issue type story. Now that that generic information has been set, I'm going to add a script. And in here, I'm going to be writing my code to set that based upon the logic that I need to follow. First, we need to decide when we're going to run the script. So I'm going to be setting it on change. I want this to dynamically change whenever someone interacts with the priority field. I'm not really interested in it running when it initially loads up. Next, the views that I want this to apply to. So I'm going to apply this to the create view and the issue view as well. I want this to apply when a user is creating a new issue. So if they create an issue and they identify it as a high priority, I want it to be assigned to myself. But I also want this to be true throughout the life cycle of an issue. So anytime someone goes into a pre-existing issue and changes it, the assignee changes also. So the script itself already exists in our library. So I'm just going to copy it from there. So if I go to the library, we can see here, I've got the auto assign issue based on selected priority. I'm going to take this, this script and I'm going to paste it into the script field. Just to run through what this is exactly doing, we're getting the priority field, we're getting the assignee field, we're logging out the priority field in case we just want to double check. And then based upon the priority field, so we're doing a switch and we're saying case highest. So if it's the highest priority, we're going to set it to user one and medium, we're going to set it to user two. For this user data, you need to apply the user ID. So just to show you what that looks like, if I go to my user profile here, in the URL, you can see right at the end, we have the ID for my particular user. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste that into user one for the highest. And I'm going to paste my colleagues, Brandon's ID in for the medium priority. Now I can click to save this script and save the behavior as a whole, and this will now be applied. So once this is saved, I can go to create an issue. And as I'm in webinar and the issue type is story, if I go to the assignee is currently set automatic because the priority is on high and also we didn't set it to run on load. But if I change this to be medium now, you can see it's automatically assigned to Brandon. But if I change it to highest, automatically assigned to me. We can also double check if I create this issue so it actually exists. I can go to view the issue. So we're now in the issue view itself. And we can see that the assignee is set to me, but if I go and change the priority to medium, it is automatically reassigned to Brandon. And again, to highest it's automatically reassigned to me. So we can see how the logic that we've defined here that we want our issues to follow can exist throughout its life cycle, not only when you're creating it, but also while the issue is created, exists and going through the workflow. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.